printer is here. Um, I did my research and I looked up a whole bunch of printers and what to start out with because honestly, I mean, I might have some things printed by different companies. I don't have to research it, but I really, really like the idea of printing my own stuff at home. It's just way more fulfilling for me, I think. Um, I don't know about it being cost effective, but to start out, um, I figured I'd just get a printer. So these are the setup instructions. I ended up picking up the Canon PIXMA TS6420A. Uh, and it's pretty reasonably priced. I got it on sale for a hundred bucks at Best Buy. So I think these are all cables. I'm already breaking things, guys. I think this is where the paper goes. I can build a PC, but I can't set up a printer. It's pretty fucking sweet, if you ask me. Um, I'm waiting for it to do its initial adjustments, and then I can just hook it up to my computer and. Also, Mason Margiela, like always, kindly, um, sends me their new scent, or one of their newer scents. It's called Matcha Meditation. Um, I can appreciate it. It doesn't stink, but I gravitate more towards, like, more masculine scents. This one's definitely very fruity. They sent me the candle and the, um, the scent. Uh... Sadly, I will probably not wear it just because it's not a scent that I gravitate towards. This is really fresh and um, sweet. Uh, it doesn't smell bad though. Some of them are sickly and I don't like sickly. The candle, although, I will keep um, because um, the candle I do like because it smells a lot softer. I love how it's like a little light pistachio green, the wax. But I'm trying to get this thing to focus and it won't. There we go. Um, yeah, this smells really good and soft. This, obviously it's a bit stronger because it's um, a scent. Uh, my mother, this smells like something my mother would wear. She loves scents like this and it, they always remind me of her. But uh, yeah, I think, what are the notes? Let's look in this. Um, love their packaging as always. Let's see. It says, a luminous green tea accord and bergamot essence. Um, let's see, pure light. Yeah, I mean, it's light, it's fresh. It, well, no, I lie. A fresh and elegant floral scent. Okay, so it's it's... Fresh in the sense of not like clean linen fresh smell, but fresh as in it, it's light, it's airy, but it's sweet. Uh, and I'm, I don't care for sweet smells, but that's just me. It doesn't mean that it smells bad. So um, if you like fruity, florally scents, uh, this is this is a nice one. Uh, I think I'm going to give this to my mother because she will totally wear it. But thank you, uh, Mason Margella, for sending this over. This I'm going to light tonight. acrylic ink. Ooh, I'm shaking all up. Sorry, I have you propped up on 
a very unsteady shelf. So you're shaking. I'm not going to touch the desk. Um, so yeah, waiting for my journal to get here. It's going to take a little bit. Um, I'm going to go buy some ink. I really wanted to get a new brush, like a new brush, a square tipped brush. I do want to try, um, building my little clay keychains today. So I'm going to do that as well. Um, and then maybe paint a little bit. I have to do laundry at some point. So I'm going to go to my dad's house and get my laundry done. Um, I have to pick up Leandro later as well. I gotta figure out where I can put all of my supplies. I'm getting a new desk, a workspace desk thing. Um, I'm just gonna kind of revamp and organize stuff and figure it all out. I'm back. Sculpting went really well. I am super excited to um, bake the little keychain that I made and see how it kind of, I'm gonna test it out and see if I like the design, but I realized that I don't have a black, I need a black Posca pen. Um, so I'm gonna go to the art store and pick that up as well, but I, I need food, I'm hungry. Yeah, that was fun, my hands are, are dry. I need to um, put some lotion on and I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go get pho first and then head to the art store because it's right next to my dad's house. So, um, I can't remember where I parked yesterday. I think I parked up the street. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna take the laundry basket downstairs. I'm going to clean up this mess here. I have to build the keychain together. I have this chain currently. I'm not crazy about it. I would like a rounder chain link but this is pretty much all I can find. I'm very picky when it comes to hardware matching. So if I have two silver pieces that are off, um, the chain that I wanted, it had like a, a higher, shinier finish to it. Whereas this is, um, I think this is like nickel or I forget what it's called. I can't think of the, the name, but more of a, like a pewter tone to it. Um, this matches a lot better to the little clasps that I have here. Uh, they're the perfect color. So um, I'm on the hunt for chain because I would like to get like a thicker, heavier duty chain. Uh, pull over the peach. I love her. I love her art. She and I have similar art styles I've I've found I gravitate towards that uh, or her type of art style um, but yeah it was just watching her as I sculpted my little buddy who's sitting in there uh, I don't want any dust to get on him also I have these guys here I need to repot them and I thought about potting them all together they are syndapsis they're silver ladies but as you can see, I mean, I'm having plenty of new growth coming out. But look how tiny, like they need to be repotted. I need to put them in a pot, um, especially before like winter gets here. These are just growing in some moss. I also have this pink princess that I've had in here. Oh my God, you guys, if I can find the picture of when it, I first purchased it, I think I got it for 30 bucks and it was two small baby itty bitty leaves and now it's been sitting in this moss and obviously it's well overdue um it needs to be repotted so i thought about putting it in this um this pot right here from a plant um or no uh, an artist uh, this is her name and i'm pretty sure she's an artist based out of Brooklyn, but I have these cute little, this set of pots that I got from her. Um, I'm literally the worst vlogger ever. I ate my pho as fast as I got it. I feel like I smell like an onion. <laughs> yeah, that it was really good. I got no footage. That's okay, you know what pho is, right?
just realized that I did not film an outro for this haul. Or not outro, but I didn't show you what I got. Sorry, I was sketching. I was on the phone with my mom, um, on the phone with my daughter, and I'm trying to get this filmed. So I went to Blick and picked up a few things and I thought I'd share them with you. Also, sorry about the lighting. It is now 9.40 at night and I figured you guys wouldn't mind. Um, I'm just using my, this light. <laughs> it's actually really, let me see if I do that. Oh, look at that, that's nice. I mainly went for this, this Posca pen. I needed a black fine tip, it's a 0.7 millimeter, so that I can draw on my little clay figures. Um, it's nice, it's black, it's pigmented. Uh, I could use ink or I just could use regular old acrylic paint or gouache, but I feel like with this, it'll be much easier, faster, simple. Um, I picked up a few paints, some new gouache. I got a white just so that I can mix and, you know, for, for all the other colors that I have. Uh, but I also picked up a beige and a shell pink. You can't see it or the colors, let me see. Oh, this light sucks. Okay, maybe it wasn't a good idea to start filming this in the middle of the night. Anyway, I picked up the color beige and the color shell pink. Um, I'm trying to decide or figure out what my color palette is. Uh, I've really been liking this like olive green, this chartreuse kind of color. Um, and I also like this dark like hunter green um, and this freaking red, this bright orangey red. I've been obsessed with all those kinds of colors. I got some acrylic ink. Um, I thought I could just use it for paint, um, not paints, but painting, the process of painting. Jesus, can't speak. It's late at night. I'm, I need to go to bed soon. Okay, so got that. What else did I get? I got these clips, which I will use for my sketchbooks to hold the pages back. These were super inexpensive. Uh, I got a pencil sharpener to take with me to work. Um, I've been bringing my sketchbook with me and I've been drawing a lot. As soon as I like get ideas, I'll kind of sketch real quick. Uh, so I wanna make sure that my pencils are sharpened all the time. Uh, so I got a kind of red orangey drawing pencil and then I got this uh, Derwent graphic uh, drawing pencil because my daughter took my mechanical pencil. So uh, I'm gonna take these both to work along with my little pencil sharpener. Then I picked up two um, colored pencils. I have, the majority of my colored pencils are these Prismacolor Premier ones, which are really good. Uh, I really wanted the Holbein um, colored pencils, you know, the ones that same brand as my gouache, but they didn't have them at my Blake store, so I don't really know where to get them in person and I wanted to see what they felt like, but I did come across these Cara, this is terrible, I can't pronounce any of these. But anyways, I got like a green ochre and I got um, vermilion, or no, permanent red, is that what it's called? It looks like a, you know, that red orangey color. So I figured I can add these to my colored pencil collection, which is growing slowly. Um, I don't want all of the colors. I get very overwhelmed easily, so I just kind of buy as I see something that I'm inspired by, and then I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go out and grab that color, and it'll be good. And then I finally found a small little desk easel. I've been looking for this so that I can put my paintings, uh, just display them on my table uh, or my prints that I'm working on. And then I picked up a brush pack. Uh, I don't particularly have a favorite brand of brushes. I just kind of, you know, rub my finger on it back and forth and then I'm like, okay, well, this'll work. But I was really looking for this square brush here to do like detail work. And these are Princeton Art Brush & Co. It's like a value pack. And they're synthetic, which is exactly what I needed. Oh, 
this is what I got. I got one of these like little containers. I haven't figured out a good way to store my clay that has been opened and used. I have it in these little containers here that I had bought for something else, but I don't really like them. Uh, see, these don't, these don't even fit in here. But the little used balls of clay that I have left over that I will use up so that I'm not wasting it and it's an airtight, like sealed container. I can't wait to start like sketching every day. Uh, currently I'm sketching in kind of like my brain dump idea book. That's kind of where I rough draft draw everything that I want to create. Um, so it kind of goes on there first. Then the Hobonichi journal will kind of be more of a solidified thought process. Uh, kind of thing and that might be the sketchbook that I share with you guys. I feel very good like things are kind of going where they need to go. Now I'm just hanging out with Lee. Yeah. Um, we're gonna make chicken wings tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. And this vlog is obviously very more more of a talkative vlog. I think I'm gonna mix it up with talking and um, maybe some scenes that are just quiet, me just doing my thing. Um, eventually, I'll show you my process and things. Uh, I'm still figuring it all out, I guess. I'm in the beginning phases of what I wanna do with my art, uh, but it's exciting. It's exciting because I feel like I'm making progress and it makes me happy. So, anyways, I'm gonna finish watching my YouTube videos because it's Sunday and all of my videos come out. Uh, and yeah, okay, I'm gonna charge my battery too because it is blinking at me. Bye.